It's a new year, and with it come new rules of retirement. You need to attend Phyllis Saxville Venus' complimentary dinner seminar on February 25th at Fleming's Prime Steakhouse and Wine Bar in Peoria. Just go to PSPASSOC.com and click on Register for an event. Thanks for joining us today. This is Retire Financially Fit with Phyllis, and I am Jen Rizak. Happy to be here with Phyllis Saxville Venus. She's founder and president of PSP and Associates. With everything that's been going on, we know a lot of you have questions about the market, how your money's doing, what you should be doing with your portfolio. So today you're going to hear a lot about Phyllis's Retire Fit analysis and how it can help you get some answers to take advantage of that Retire Fit analysis that we'll talk about throughout the show today. All you have to do is call 62. 62- Two three seven nine two fifty four ninety six. One more time. That's six two three seven nine two fifty four ninety six. And you can always check out the website retire with PSP dot com. And Phyllis, have you ever been caught off guard by anything? Am I catching you off guard right now? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking about something else. You got me off got guard. You. That's a good thing. I got Keeps you. Me sharp. Yes, exactly. We've all been caught off guard at some point. It is not a good feeling. Now, sometimes it's funny. Some of the things my kids come up with and the questions they ask, and they put me on the spot, and I panic and I freeze and I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what to say. That happens to all of us. But other times. It's more of like a physical, you feel paralyzed. Things hit you all at once. And I feel like that is something a lot of people have dealt with a lot lately, Phyllis, this kind of analysis paralysis. We're overthinking everything. We we just don't know how to act because it's all hitting us all at once. Has that been happening to people lately, do you think, if, if they need to be making some decisions about their retirement? Yeah, absolutely. It's It's just all of a sudden... It all becomes real. You know, things are going along great and, you know, just ticking right along. And then, boom, this Mm -hmm. all this chaos happens. And then, yeah, now all of a sudden, every which way, what's going to happen when? That's exactly right. Right. It's it's really, really difficult for some people to, you know, say, "Uh oh, now I've got to do this. It's real. Yeah. Well, and it's just, it's hard to know how quickly you need to make decisions too. I mean, we we were talking about this a little bit offline before the show, but my parents are facing some decisions right now based on my mom's health. Do they need to go ahead and retire so they can focus on getting her better and she can focus on getting better and dad can just take care of her? And it's hard to know what type of decision to make. And I'm really learning just how difficult this decision is, Phyllis. It's it's been one thing for me to get on here with you for a few years now and talk about how, oh, I know people are struggling with these decisions, but I'm living it now and it's hard. Uh, Yeah, absolutely. But, But Jen, in our conversation, what I heard from you is there was some critical thinking going on. Yes. All the options were flushed out, laid on the table first. Right. Right. And then they're taking a step back. And they're looking at all of them. They've got all the facts. And then they're going to make a well-informed decision. And it's the same thing that you need to do with retirement planning. And right now, yep, there's a lot of chaos going on. And a lot of things that you didn't think maybe you had to consider right now, you could push it down the road a little bit. We'll probably need to. Mm-hmm. But before you make knee-jerk decisions, you need to just... Get everything, get the facts out on the table. Mm -hmm. Get them out on the table. You know, where are you at in this retirement continuum? And that's what we talk about. That's exactly what our retire fit analysis is all about. That's what I've been, I guess you'd call it preaching each week for over three (laughs) years now that we've been doing this. That first and foremost, the best way to make a decision is to understand the things that you're going to be faced with and get some education, get some facts in front of you so that you can make well-informed decisions. Yes, this is a scary time, but it's going to be scarier if you just react. Let's be proactive, not reactive. And the retire fit analysis that we offer to you is a process that will take you through that whole analysis before you make reactive decisions. You'll be able to be proactive with it. And, you know, that's why I encourage anybody, if you're within 10 years of retirement, even if you've already retired and you're not really crystal clear about why you're doing what, when, 
this is a great time to let's go through this retire fit analysis process together. There's no obligation. It's complimentary. I don't know if I can help you. I don't know, you know, you may be all set. You may not be in a position where you can really act on some of the things right now, but I'll bet you I'll give you more information than, than you had before you came in. And if you've done the heavy lifting, you've saved at least $250,000 or more for retirement, why wouldn't you want to get clarity during this chaotic time especially? So pick up the phone and call us at 623-792-5496. Again, 623-792-5496. And, and let me just tell you this, there are plenty of ways that we can get this ball rolling during this bad time. Okay. We can just pick up the phone and talk for 15 minutes if you prefer that. And I'll walk you through one-on-one -on -one what the process looks like. Then we can do a Zoom meeting where we're going to feel like we're in the room together. Or, you know, perhaps if you want to come on in, we have a very big conference room. We're, we're, crystal, we're very clean and antiseptic. We're over six feet apart. We all wear masks. So there's no reason to have to put this off. Really, if you don't know the decisions that you might be faced with, or if you don't feel like you really understand your situation, now's a great time to pick up the phone and call us for your retire fit analysis, 623-792-5496. It's a process that will take you through all of the things that you need to look at to have a complete retirement plan. Make sure that you'll be always be proactive, not reactive. Talking today with Phyllis Sachs Pilvinas. She's founder and president of PSP and Associates. She is author of the book, Creating Calm Amidst the Storm. That phone number one more time, 623-792-5496. And Phyllis, I just, I know we've talked about this lately, but the title of your book, Creating Calm Amidst the Storm, to me, it fits what's happening right now perfectly because we're just in the middle of all of this chaos, all of these things that are going on. There's so much uncertainty, and I know that's a word we're all tired of right now in these uncertain times is what we've heard so many times over the past few weeks and months. But but talk a little bit about how taking the time to sit down and talk with someone like you can actually create that calm amidst the storm. Because we, we get that calm, we get that sense of peace through planning and through having some certainty and knowing what we're going to do when something happens rather than all of that doubt and just not not being sure how we're going to react when something happens. Yeah, here's the thing. Most people are so in control of the job that they choose during yes. their working lives and their salary. And then all of a sudden, as you get close to retirement, all these things get thrown your way, whether it's a change in health, whether it's a, you know, a spouse's change in health, or, or whether you get uh, downsized and now all of a sudden you don't have a job and, and you're older and your opportunities are less, or whether taxes go way up, or whether there's a market situation, or in this case, a health crisis. And when I wrote the book, I picked that title because I can guarantee you throughout retirement, things are going to change. Life's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've right. seen it for so many years. I've been in this industry a very long time. And the way to make sure that you have that calm, no matter what's thrown your way is to not just let someone like me put together a plan for you and say, here it is, you're good. But let someone like me take you through the process of what you need to consider and why you need to consider it what's going on with your money, and what are your options to be better insulated. And the retire fit analysis process goes through all the pieces of what we call the retirement puzzle. It starts with helping you really understand and figure out what your budget's going to look like in retirement for the fun things, for the discretionary expenses, for the real expenses. Then it goes through, okay, here's what we want to spend, inflation-adjusted income, but what's actually going on? What is our income plan? Is there a gap between what we're going to have coming in after we've selected the best Social Security option? And that's very complicated in and of itself. And the best pension option. What's our gap for income? Okay, there's a gap. 
where should we get this money from? Well, let's look at our investments. When are we going to need this money and how much are we going to need? And with our investments, how much income are they throwing off? Do they give us dividends and interest when the market's up or down? How much risk are we taking? Is that risk appropriate? What are we paying in fees on these investments? We lay it all out for you so you can see. Is there a gap in income? Are we on track with our investments? Do we have enough income? Do we have enough investments? Taxes. Taxes, taxes, taxes. Redheaded stepchild. This is probably going to be the biggest risk that you face because taxes are going to go up, folks, and they're on sale right now. So many people coming into our office have been concerned about the market, but they don't understand their future tax liability. Now is a great opportunity to understand what your future tax liability is going to be, what it's going to cost you to take money out of your retirement accounts, because you have a partnership with Uncle Sam. Only each year, Uncle Sam gets to define how much of a partnership, how much they're going to charge you in taxes. Tax rates are low right now. You want to understand that. So perhaps you can make decisions today to protect yourself from rising taxes in the future. We also go through health care. What are the future costs of health care for normal things like prescription drugs, hospital stays? And what about catastrophic expenses? Mm -hmm. What are those going to cost you and how can you deal with that? And then we want to look at legacy planning. Do you have beneficiaries set up right? You know, it, it seems so long ago, but when the government came out with the SECURE Act in December of this past year, really changed legacy planning for people with retirement accounts. Um, you know, how your, how your loved ones are going to receive that money if they're not a spouse. Big deal. We're going to go through all of these pieces, lay them out for you so that you can see the decisions you might be faced with making, what you have to do. So pick up the phone and call us at 623-792-5496. That number again, 623-792-5496. Retirement, it's a new phase of life, and anything new makes us nervous. Change is hard. But after the break, we're going to talk about how you can change up your routine to get ready for retirement. That's coming up next. This is Retire Financially Fit with Phyllis. We'll be back. Why choose PSP and Associates to handle your retirement? Because we provide objective advice and concierge service. Investments, insurance, retirement planning, all at one location. We also partner with qualified attorneys and CPAs to provide complete financial strategies for our clients. We use a variety of investment and insurance products to custom design retirement plans that can give clients a clear look at their future. And we help you stay on the path toward financial independence. If you don't want to do it yourself, you want to work with a team to create a financial strategy for your future, give us a call. 623-792-5496. That's 623-792-5496. Would you rather get retirement advice from some TV show host who doesn't know anything about you or PSP and Associates? 623-792-5496. PSP is a registered investment advisory firm. Phyllis Sachs Pildenas is an investment advisor representative and insurance professional. Investing involves risk, including the possible loss of principal. Thanks for joining us today. This is Retire Financially Fit with Phyllis. I am Jen Rizak. Happy to be here with Phyllis Sachs Pilvinas. She is founder and president of PSP and Associates, author of the book Creating Calm Amidst the Storm. Phyllis was also the first female advisor on the cover of Senior Market Advisors magazine. Glad to have her here today. Retire with PSP.com is the website if you'd like to learn a little bit more. And Phyllis, you know this, I know this. It happens happens every year in every state in America, construction time, orange cones and construction zones blocking your way, forcing you to change your route and making you want to pull your hair out. And all you're thinking is, how long is this going to last? And why didn't they plan better? And those are questions you don't want to be asking about your retirement. And Phyllis, when we talk about construction zones and being stuck in traffic. A couple of my girlfriends, we decided we were going to take a little uh, girls weekend and we we decided we would go in the mountains. We would have a 
have a fun getaway from the kids and the husbands and just have a great time. And on the way back home, my friend Beth had an app that she was using to help us determine the, the quickest route back home. And we were following that path. And my other friend, uh, my friend Amy, said, no, I don't want to take this way. This isn't the way that we normally take. I don't want to go this way. So let's let's take my my way. And this was not the way that the GPS was telling us. This app was telling us. So we, we took Amy's way. And we ended up being in one of those areas of construction, Phyllis, where you it's down to one lane and you have to wait for all the oncoming traffic to pass and then you get to go um probably 10 miles of that and and so this is why the app (laughs) told us to go a different way uh it was beyond frustrating and then of course after being on all that construction we ended up having a flat tire at some point as well so um planning planning around the construction these are things we want to do with our retirement (laughs) with our retirement as well right yeah oh Oh. you must have been yeah it was a, a long time home. Yeah, it was a <laughs> long way back home. But, you know, it, it just I think there are just so many parallels there with what life can be like. You know, we we had done some of the basic planning. We had AAA. They were able to come out and help us with the flat and all of those things. Um, but, man, it just what a what a mess. I mean, a, a little bit of better planning, a little bit of better guidance probably would have saved us some headaches, you know. Same you see, thing's here's true. The, yeah. Here's the thing when it comes, you know, life happens. Yes. <laughs> there are just things that no matter how well you plan, it, they're still going to happen. Mm-hmm. But if you're proactive versus reactive, especially in your retirement planning, you'll have a workaround mm-hmm. and it won't make things as awful as they could have been. Okay. Very, very important. To, to That's why we talk about having a plan ahead of time and having the flexibility as life deals its cards, you have a workaround. That's exactly right. You had AAA. You were able to, you had to wait, but at (laughs) least you had an option versus (laughs) sitting by the side of the road with bad. Yeah. yeah. The three Uh, of us trying to, to figure, I mean, we just, we weren't physically strong enough to because even the guy who came to help us really struggled with getting the spare unlocked from the from the back of <laughs> from the back of her car so yeah we we were just in a pinch we needed some help but at least we at least we were able to get that help and um and you know it i just think people need to be uh willing to recognize when it comes to the financial things when they need help i i feel like sometimes people get a little stubborn maybe and they think Oh, I've done this on my own. I've I've done this. I've made these good decisions so far. Um, it it doesn't it doesn't mean that it it you shouldn't get a little help looking at the money side of stuff with your retirement, right? Yeah, absolutely. Let me just throw out some scenarios okay. and, and don't want to try to. I don't want to be doom and gloom, but but over the years, you know, I've, I've seen insult to injury. So let's just say that that you know you've done well investing on your own. And you've accumulated a nice amount of money. That's terrific. And you're going to retire and you've got that magic number for you. And things, things are going okay. But then you really think you have enough money to self-insure for a catastrophic illness. And you really haven't thought about the fact that you have a partnership with Uncle Sam on your retirement accounts. And, you know, you really don't know what that future tax liability is. And then it happens. Your spouse needs custodial care. And then it happens. At that juncture in time, the market's down. And then it happens. Taxes have to be paid because the bulk of your money is in a pre-tax account. So now you've got to pay for custodial care, which is very costly. You've got to take it out of a market account because, you know, that's where the money is. And you're selling off shares for two shares for the price of one because the market just went down. And now all that money coming out is taxable and you're paying taxes on it. You didn't have a plan Mm. and it just made matters a lot worse. And here's the thing, when something happens that you never expect, if you don't have a plan ahead of time, it's crisis planning. You don't make great decisions. 
Mm-hmm. Whereas someone who says, okay, I'm going to plan for the worst, hope for the best. I'm going to have some money available that if the market's down when I need it, I've got some money that, that there's not going to be as much insult to injury. I'm going to handle my taxes so that if something like that comes up where I need the money or I need more money in the short run or I've got to loan my kids kids money, I've got some tax-free money or money that's going to be taxed less. These are all things, if you plan for the worst and hope for the best, that will insulate you. Because believe me, I've been doing this a very long time. Anything that can happen will happen. And if you have different options available and you and you don't have to do crisis planning, it really leaves you in a better position. So yes, maybe you're really astute at, at managing your money, but do you know all the other things that could impact you in retirement that you could have a better plan for a more proactive plan. So I encourage you, whether you're a do-it-yourselfer, whether you've worked really well with an investment counselor who's made you money together, I encourage you as you transition into retirement, whether you're within 10 years of retirement or you're already retired and you think you're all set, let's do the retire fit analysis. That's a second opinion. It does. It's to, other than your time that it's going to take you take you to walk through the process. It's no cost, no obligation. And what we'll do is we'll pressure test your situation to make sure that there's not anything that you've overlooked. And if you're in good stead, fantastic. You're going to leave the office reassured that you're right on track. And if there are some issues that, geez, I didn't think about this, we're going to help educate you on the ways that you can address that that best suits you in your particular circumstances. Who is this for? Anybody within 10 years of retirement, 10 years already retired, you've done the heavy lifting, you've saved at least $250,000 or more for retirement, let's make sure that you're in a situation where you're already proactive so that you don't have to be reactive. 623-792-5496. 5496. Phyllis Sachs Pilvinas is founder and president of PSP and Associates. I'm Jen Rizak alongside that number again, 623 792 5496. And Phyllis, when we talk about trying to navigate uh, the, the road to retirement, and there are detours and there's construction and all of these things, and, but, but when we talk about this and I think about a roadmap, I know what that means. I can picture the road atlas that I have in my car, and I I still have one of those big old atlases, and I show my kids how to read it. Or I can picture what the the map app on my phone looks like. I, I get what these things are. But when we talk about this roadmap for retirement idea, this this plan for retirement, I don't always know what that looks like quite as well. Can can you just explain a little bit more about what this is physically going to look like when it's done, When once we have this plan all put together? So, yeah. I, I mean, first of all, it's, we discover what you want your retirement to look like. What's that going to cost you to maintain your life, your particular circumstances, not your neighbors, not anybody else? And then we have an income plan that, you know, that matches up with that. We give you enough cash flow, inflation adjusted income for that. We we have a plan where your investment strategy supports that income plan. It it supports your emergency fund. It is it supports your long term fund. We have a tax efficient strategy that supports your goals in retirement. We we have a health care strategy that insulates your plan for retirement. We have an estate strategy set up that makes sure that if something happens to you, your wishes are carried out while you're alive. Someone can act on your behalf for health care and finance decisions. And then ultimately, when you pass on, all of that hard-earned money goes to whom you want it to go through with the right beneficiary documentation set up. So what are your dreams and how can we safeguard those dreams? It starts with a plan that can, that has an income component, an investment strategy component, 
a forward-looking tax strategy component, a health care strategy component, and a legacy and estate planning component. That's what it looks like when it comes to your retirement plan. And again, discover. Let's discover what you want it to look like. And then let's go through all the steps to make sure that you have a plan that supports your goals. If there's any gaps, how do we fix those? How do we make it better? How do we insulate you? 623-792-5496 is the number to call to get started with a retire fit analysis to make sure you're on track and you've got that roadmap to get you to and through retirement successfully. 623 792-5496. This is Retire Financially Fit with Phyllis. We'll be back after this. Thanks for joining us today. This is Retire Financially Fit with Phyllis. I am Jen Rizak, happy to be here with Phyllis Sachs Pilvinus. She is founder and president of PSP and Associates and author of the book, Creating Calm Amidst the Storm. You can check out the website if you'd like to learn a little bit more, retirewithpsp.com. Lots of great resources are available there on the website. Again, retirewithpsp.com. When you think about being on a bridge or maybe up on a, a higher part of a road, typically there are going to be guardrails, and they're there for a reason. They keep you from going over the edge, and you just feel better knowing they're in place. You cross with more confidence when you know there's something to keep you from falling. And Phyllis, I'm, I'm not sure if you and Harry have uh, been to Maui on the road to Hana, um, I sure have. You have. Yep. Okay. So you know what I'm talking about with this windy two-lane highway. It's up on cliffs. You've got jungle and ocean and all sorts of things below. Um, and there are places where there's not a lot that stops you from, go- from going <laughs> over the edge. And it's not a good feeling when you're up there on, on a place like that, right? That's exactly right. I've got to share a funny story. Yes. At least I think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when we moved from from Massachusetts out to Arizona, we mm-hmm. took a road trip with the kids. Yes, and our baby Marissa was ten years old at the time, and we were going through Colorado. It was getting dark at night, and talk about no guardrails. Oh, yeah, there were sections of it those mountain that, roads that really were no guardrails. Ugh. And and my daughter says, "Hold on, wait a minute." She was so afraid that she actually put on her her, her bike helmet. Oh, Marissa! <laughs> and I'll never forget her little face with the bike helmet to navigate. <laughs> oh it was gosh. the funniest thing. I still have that look. Yeah, so I do know about guardrails. Yeah, I couldn't help but share that. And boy, it brings smiles to my face. That pretty little yeah. Face. Oh, that poor little oh. thing. But yeah, she oh, yeah, she, she was, was so worried, and so she yeah. put on her helmet, and yep. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, though, whether whether you're on some sort of mountain road or wherever it is, when there's a guardrail there, you feel a little bit better. It, it might not be much of anything, but it's something. So how do we get that kind of confidence with our retirement plan? Because what we don't want, Phyllis, is to be going through retirement where we're just so nervous about going over the edge that we can't enjoy the view. Because typically, you've got a very picturesque view when you're up on one of these places. You don't want to spend the whole time being worried so you can't enjoy it. Yeah, that's exactly right. So, I mean, this is part of the process for getting people from the accumulation phase where all they focus on um, is performance of their investments and getting them into this next phase where they grow their money, but they grow it appropriately for that stage so that they can enjoy life. And, and here, here's what I mean by it. Oftentimes people will come in and we'll sit down and we'll talk about, you know, how much do you think you need on your money in terms of, of return on your money? And they'll say, you know, Phyllis, I don't want uh, I don't need all the ups and downs. I don't want what happened in 2008 to happen to my money um, because, geez, I, I don't have time to make that back. 
They right. get that. They get that. So, you know, I want four to five percent of my money. And and I think that's what we're doing in our portfolio. And and yet when we go ahead and and we do an analysis, we show them over the average, yeah, that that that's what they're doing. Over a period of, of ten years, maybe they're averaging four to six percent. But then when we break it down and we show them sequence of returns, what might happen in, in, you know, if bad markets hit the first three years of their retirement um, versus all good markets or 4% each year or 5% each year, it doesn't look too pretty. Mm, so, right. so the point is in retirement, averages don't count. The actual returns in each year does. So one of the ways that we get guardrails is we show people how to get that four to six percent in a steadier way whether the market's up down or sideways have how to have their plan that they're comfortable with with the tools that they want deliver the four to six percent versus a plan that over a period of time will get you four to six percent but from year to year, it's way off the guardrails, maybe down 20%, maybe up 30%, because that's a lot more steady. Hmm. Yeah. That's a lot. Does that make sense? It, it does make sense. And and I just think you you can really visualize a lot of these things when we talk about being on a bridge or we talk about being up on one of these places. Here Here's the other thing to think about to kind of counter this, though, Phyllis. I go back to the example of the road to Hana. Um, even though I would feel better having a little bit of a guardrail in place, what I wouldn't want is some eight foot tall concrete barrier that completely shuts everything off. So I'm super safe. I mean, there's no way I'm going through this thing, but then I can't enjoy anything at all. And and I think that kind of is the opposite side of this. Is is it possible to overdo it with the guardrails? Oh, yeah. So then we're closing ourselves in. That's such a good point. Absolutely. So, so instead of having uh, perhaps your typical plan where you have, it, it requires more asset diversification. It, repl- it, it requires understanding when you're going to need the money and building a plan with time segmenting. So we, we like that method a real lot. So in the short term, since we don't know what our sequence of returns are going to be, how the market's going to do each year, we take less risk if you need money in the short term, the now money. And then when we need money, let's call it our soon bucket. Let's Mm -hmm. say it's five or six or seven years out. Well, we can take a little bit more risk. And then the money that we need 10 Plus years out, we can take more risk there. So by blending it all together, we don't have everything underneath that rock in your backyard or in a bank account, which is probably worse because you pay taxes on that. Mm, right. We have it spread out where you're taking advantage of everything, but it all blends together to get you that nice, even return over time. So that, I think, Phyllis, is the important thing to understand, this this balance. And how do we make sure that we have enough money at, with the potential for growth so that way we aren't you know, going broke safely with too much in the bank right. and we're having to, to pay taxes on it, plus it's not keeping up with inflation. How do, how do we use your retire fit analysis process to get that balance right so we have the right money invested for growth, the right money it put somewhere for income and the right money put somewhere for our long-term savings down the road. So we go through our discovery to figure out what you want and when you want it. And and then we look at, let's say for income, for example, when are we going to need how much money? What are reliable sources of income? What's the gap? Uh, right out of retirement, are you going to need $2,000 a month coming from your for, from your retirement accounts? When are you going to need that? Mm-hmm. Based upon how much and when you're going to need it and what your risk tolerance is like, we then go out 
and build the buckets of money, if you will, and pick the right tools that work within your risk tolerance. And it's all a great blending. And I like to take people through, we always say we're not product centric in our, in our, in our company, in our firm, we are solution centric. So I like to take people through, if we're trying to solve for an income gap, what the different tools are to see where they're most comfortable and not just recommend products, but recommend solutions and walk them through and make them part of the process so that they're the CEO of their money. And it sounds like perhaps a lot, but we break it down into bite-sized pieces. We have an income gap. We understand when that's going to occur. And here's the different ways that we can solve that income gap and what are the pros and cons and strings attached of each approach? Some people, let's say, for you'd like to use annuities in there because you can't outlive that money. And that can be a great solution. But with that come pros and cons and strings attached. Some people want to stay away from the annuity solution. So we look at other things like perhaps dividends in portfolio. Doesn't matter to us as long as we understand what that gap is, when we're going to need it. And we can build a reliable, smooth road mm-hmm. to HANA, if you will. <laughs> reliable is the big word there because th- that's the other thing too, Phyllis. So many times we we have our money for retirement in some of these different accounts. We might have some investments, but but just having those things doesn't mean we have a reliable source of income. There, there's a little bit more that we have to do, and that's really what this retire fit analysis process is all about: making sure that we are uh, we are putting our money in reliable places or setting ourselves up for that reliable income down the road. And then also making smart decisions with those other reliable sources of income, things like social security. That That is a Absolutely. part of all of this as well, right? Absolutely. So many people want to get They, you know, they want to talk about maximizing it. No, we want to optimize it. And if you're going to optimize your Social Security benefit, you have to look at the other factors that contribute to that decision. You have to look. You can't look at Social Security in a vacuum. You also can't say, yeah, I'm going to get X amount of dollars from this without considering how much you're really going to end up getting after you pay taxes. So it's everything together looking at what do I need for income? How is inflation going to affect that? Well, how much risk am I taking? When do I need the money? How much ta- How much am I actually going to keep after I give it back for taxes? And based upon all those different factors, what's the best time to take Social Security? How should I take my pension? What type of vehicles do I need to use to supplement my income um, in retirement? What type of tools should I be using? It all comes together, starts with discovering what you want and building a plan around that that makes sense to you, a sensible plan that includes all the things that could lower your, your income. You got a plan, you're earning 5 7 8% this year, and the market goes down 30%, you're not earning that anymore. Mm-hmm. So let's get it all balanced out, and that requires a comprehensive plan. Retire Fit Analysis will walk you through all of those pieces so that you can proactively plan for the worst, hope for the best, and get to and through retirement successfully. 623-792-5496. Let me give you that number again. 623-792-5496 to reach Phyllis Sachs Pilvinas and her team at PSP and Associates. This is Retire Financially Fit with Phyllis, and we'll be back in just a moment. Why choose PSP and Associates to handle your retirement? Because we provide objective advice and concierge service. Investments, insurance, retirement planning, all at one location. We also partner with qualified attorneys and CPAs to provide complete financial strategies for our clients. We use a variety of investment and insurance products to custom design retirement plans that can give clients a clear look at their future. And we help you stay on the path toward financial independence. If you don't want to do it yourself, you want to work with a team to create a financial strategy for your future, 
give us a call. 623-792-5496. That's 623-792-5496. Would you rather get retirement advice from some TV show host who doesn't know anything about you? Or PSP and Associates. 623-792-5496. PSP is a registered investment advisory firm. Phyllis Sachs Pildenas is an investment advisor representative and insurance professional. Investing involves risk, including the possible loss of principal. It's a new year, and with it come new rules of retirement. You need to attend Phyllis Saxville Venus's complimentary dinner seminar on February 25th at Fleming's Prime Steakhouse and Wine Bar in Peoria. Just go to PSPASSOC.com and click on Register for an Event. <laughs> Phyllis, thanks for joining us today. This is Retire Financially Fit with Phyllis. 1975, the year Jaws hit theaters, becoming a summer blockbuster, and of course, giving us that very famous phrase. You're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> it's one of the best scenes. Phyllis, you remember seeing that mm. movie when it first came out? Oh, my goodness, I do. But I also remember <laughs> seeing it. I was living on the Cape after my first year of college, you know, when uh, we watched it again. Yeah. And I used to go swimming at night all oh, the time. No. And be, not after that. <laughs> no. Not for at least a couple of weeks. No, it, you never wanted to go Ooh. in the water again. Wasn't safe to go in the water again, right? Wasn't that the, <laughs> that was the line? That was crazy. That was crazy. Oh, man. And one of those movies, too, like just playing that thing theme music. I mean, it just sends chills down your spine. And one of those movies that without the score wouldn't wouldn't have even been something you remembered, probably. I mean, that music is just oh, yeah. what made it, right? Exactly. Oh. Oh. That helped. Love oh. it. Yeah, love it so much. Because we, we actually, my first time seeing it, it was obviously many years after it had originally come out. Um but we did see it in like a drive-in theater type of setting and being outside and just it, it was just a lot of fun to <laughs> to see oh, that movie. I remember and, it so well. Both times I saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. And just, it was just as scary. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. But again, because of, I mean, just that intensity in the music and just, it, just you can't help but feeling a little bit frantic <laughs> when you're well when you're done. watching it. Yeah. Right. Well oh. done. Yeah. So, so well done. So what we're not going to do as we continue our discussion today of retirement and we talk about the risks lurking in the retirement waters, we're not going to keep playing that music because we'll all <laughs> just be be riled up. <laughs> That's right. Just be, That's right. Just well, if people don't much. have a plan, maybe I should play it. Oh, there you go. Because they need a plan. Do that <laughs> as they're sitting in your conference room. Exactly. Uh, you'd you'd right. have some people ooh, a little bit, a little bit freaked out here. But yeah, Phil, as we we go through all this about Jaws, because we're going to be talking about the common financial risks in retirement. That is our top five list for this week. And number five on the list, health care. A major cause of unexpected bills in retirement is medical expenses. According to Fidelity, the average 65-year-old couple can expect to pay $285,000 on health care costs in retirement. That does not include long-term care. So, again, you're, I'm starting to feel that music creeping up here in the back of my head here. How do we factor in these health care costs that are lurking in our retirement? Yeah, we really do need the music for this one I know. because mm. yeah, this is some nobody wants to think about this, and so many people believe, well, my health, my insurance, or, or my Medicare supplement's going to cover that. When it comes to custodial care or all what Fidelity's talking about, uh, copays and things like that, they add up. Custodial care can really take down somebody if they don't have a plan for that. Now, having said that. Uh, here's where we can have the happy music. Yes. <laughs> if, if you have a good plan, you can create leverage. That Every family is going to be different how they're going to do that. But there's lots of tools today other than just long-term care insurance where you pay these premiums and if you don't use it, you lose it. There are other things that you can do 
that will give you leverage on your own money. So for if it's going to cost you one, you know, for one dollar that you put in, you might create two dollars or three dollars, depending upon the way that, that you do that. And so for for our families, we make them aware that this is an issue that really can unravel everything you've worked your entire life for if you ignore it. But we walk them through all the different ways that they can prevent this problem, that they can create leverage. And and also very often, the tools that we're going to use or the combination of tools are going to be different for people. Sometimes it's insurance products, mm -hmm. whether it be life insurance, whether it be annuities with the special health care rider. Because back in 2006, under the Pension Protection Act, uh, the government came out and said that we we're going to give these insurance pro products um, the ability to provide leverage for healthcare, for lack of a, a better way to do it. And much as we love to hate these products, they have some virtue if you really just look at the pros and cons and strings attached. Sometimes maybe you opt to downsize your house and put away that money or do a reverse mortgage. There's different options, different strokes for different folks. But the idea is it, you don't have a plan unless you have some well laid out strategy that you would utilize if you have a catastrophic illness ahead of time, proactive versus reactive. It This is real and I've seen it far too often mm -hmm. later on in life, needing custodial care, sometimes sooner than you'd ever plan. Right. Right. It, it, it is definitely a huge concern as we talk about the the major huge. risks lurking in our retirement. Talking with Phyllis Sachs Pilvinus, she's with PSP and Associates, 623-792-5496. Want to give that number as we continue talking about the main risks to our retirement income. That's 623-792-5496. And Phyllis, while I shared those numbers about health care costs from Fidelity, those have gotten bigger just in the number of years that you and I have been doing this show. It keeps going up because of inflation. The cost of everything is is going up. And here's where I go back to that quote, going to need a bigger boat <laughs> in retirement. Oh, yeah. The costs keep going up. How do we deal with inflation 20 or 30 years from now? Yeah, in inflation, it never sleeps. Mm -mm. If I've said that once, I've said it thousand times, maybe more, because it's true. Right now, interest rates are low, inflation costs are low if you listen to, you know, the government, but really are they low? Healthcare costs, I know that custodial care costs across the country went up at a rate of inflation of four point five percent last year. Wow. And even two to three percent, twenty, thirty years down the road, which is length uh, retirement can last people 20, 30, 40 years down the road, depending upon when they retire. Things are going to double mm -hmm. and you have to have income that doubles while you're working. While you're working, you get raises, right? Yeah. But yeah. in retirement, unless you plan for those raises and you have a strategy that builds that in, you're not going to keep up with inflation. So I know, for example, a lot of people are thinking, oh, my goodness, the market's volatile. I don't want any risk. And you put it in the bank in, these low, in this low interest rate environment, and Powell says it's going to stay low for a while. Mm -hmm. you, you can't keep up with inflation by having all your money there. You've got to have a plan that addresses raises for your cash flow. Otherwise, you could very well outlive your money. Right, right. And, and that is such a huge concern. Another one is interest rates. And we've talked about this before as well. Uh, interest rates have been in a long-term decline. This has been happening for a, a long time. They're not expected to go up anytime soon. Talk a little bit about the challenge of low interest rates, because it's a good thing for people who are borrowing money, if you're spending and borrowing, it's not really a good thing for people trying to save, right? Yeah, we call it the war against the retirement, mm -hmm. you know, the retirement yeah. population. It really is a war that's been waged back in the good old days. 
Geez, you could you could go to the banks and have safe money and earn a nice little rate of return on your laddered CDs, maybe five, four, five, six, seven percent. I remember my grandmother back in the eighties. I've said it before, going from bank to bank. I swear that was her job. She was all of under five feet tall. Right, I could see her driving up my driveway in the car. You could barely see her over the drivers. <laughs> Dry steering wheel. She'd get out of the car and she, you know, she had gone to the bank to negotiate her 16% CD and came oh out God. with a toaster or a toaster oven. 16%. Those good old days, they don't and exist a anymore. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's wild. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I have that vision in my head. But those, you know, for her, those were the days safely. She didn't have to worry. She'd made good money and she could negotiate between banks. Today, if your money is in a money market and a CD, yeah, it's not going to go down because of the market, but it's going to erode because of inflation. And really, interest rates are, are going to rise in the future, but not in... Not for a while, mm -hmm. not with everything else that we have going on. And people who are perhaps smarter than me, if you can believe that, are saying that. Right. So, yeah, that's a really important risk. And the way that you negotiate it is using different asset classes to accomplish mm -hmm. having an, you know, an inflation-adjusted plan. The number to call to reach Phyllis Sachs Pilvinus. She is founder and president of PSP and Associates, 623 792 5496. Again, that number is 623 792 5496. Working our way through some of the most common risks lurking in the waters of retirement. And the most common, the biggest one of all, Phyllis, is running out of money. That, that's such a huge concern for so many people because there are so many other challenges. How do you help people feel more confident that they're going to have the money they need as long as they need it in retirement? Yeah, even if you don't think that you should be concerned about it, you probably should. And the way that, that we help people is make sure that they have a solid inflation-adjusted income plan, that they have the right risk appropriate risk for them when what their concerns are, that we have a tax efficient strategy, that we have a strategy to leverage their money if they need it for health care, and that we have the right financial uh, documents or uh, state planning documents in place if they need uh, those to, to, to take care of themselves while they're still alive. So I'm going to make healthcare decisions or financial decisions. Putting it all together is how we develop a plan that makes sure that you're not going to outlive your money. You miss one of those steps, perhaps you're going to give up some money unnecessarily. So let's be proactive, not reactive. Let's start with the retire fit analysis. Call us 623-792- 5496. You've been listening to Retire Financially Fit with Phyllis. Remember that number? 623 792 5496. Be sure to tune in again next week for more insights from Phyllis. I'm Jen Rizak. We're glad you spent some time with us here today. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you next time. Investment advisory services are offered through PSP Financial Services, LLC, an Arizona registered investment advisor. PSP Financial Services is an independent financial services firm that helps people create retirement strategies using a variety of insurance and investment products. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to safety, security, or guaranteed lifetime income generally refer to fixed insurance products, never securities or investment products. Insurance and annuity product guarantees are backed by the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. PSP Financial Services LLC is not permitted to offer and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. You should talk to a qualified professional before making any decisions about your personal situation. We are not affiliated with the U.S. government or any governmental agency. This radio show is a paid placement.